<laughs> Big loads only, boys. Big loads only. Hello guys, Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. We are currently on the A74, just heading to Glasgow from Southampton. Right now we're loaded with three pontoons um, that are going up to a fish farm here, covered in mussels. We never actually managed to make dinner off it, but you know, it was the plan. I'm kidding on by the way, they've been dry for about a week, they'd probably be rotten. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Bye! It's going to be a bit foggy here at the offload, but we are a mile and a half away. We are obviously delivering to our fishery up here in Neilston, and I'm really hoping that I can get talking to the boy and be like, a couple of free days fishing, mate, you know what I mean? Thank you. Come here, man, they were low to the ground there. <laughs> Aye, good. I've heavy embarrassed myself there, man. What a f I went the wrong way. But we're out here now, we're out here now. But I just look back. Big fresh load of mussels. <laughs> well, then fish deliveries day, but what a nice place to offload. Only downside is the roadside, and uh, cars don't like slowing down in these old back roads when they're coming by. And oh, this one's actually slowing down. Look at that. That wasn't too fast, but I will get these pontoons to come off. We're just dropping our ramps, they're gonna lift them off the high ab. Pretty much got exactly what's lying in that field, and I'm assuming they're going out into that lock there, and that is absolutely stunning. All right, not a great camera angle, but they are coming in side by side. Uh, they're going to lift it off and then I'm going to drive forward. Then I'm going to put it in the field and then vice versa. Pretty much how those ones ended up in there. Terrible, terrible angle, but I'm just about to pull forward. That's then taking the weight off me now. We'll drive a wee bit down. All right, now they're going for over the fence manoeuvre. And then uh, we'll do it all over again, nice and easy. Right, that's them away off. All nice and empty, the only thing is I've now, everything's covered in mussels and shells. But there's the three we delivered there, nice and easy. Look like that, not one broken. And then we come across, right? I'm not saying anything, I'm kidding on. The boy that moved the other ones, he's grand. Fucking look at the state of the forks, the forks bent in half. And the lost one. Well, we'll see you. Fix it up, we've got a polystyrene. But you can see what I mean there, see how it's like, it's cased in concrete and then filled with uh, foam. Because when I first seen them, I was like, mate, that's just concrete blocks. You know what I mean? One ton, two ton, three ton, four ton. They're probably two ton a block, probably, because they're a bit bigger than average. Because it's only encased in concrete. A bit lighter. But aye, that was a good wee job. Now we're just going to go park up because the back load, well back load, the next load I've got is getting messed about a wee bit now so I'll see what I can sort and then I'll see if I'm telling them just to leave it or if I'm gone for it we'll see what happens but right now it's not looking very good the boy's getting messed about a bit all right here we are the back load a wee bit of messed about with payment but I'll sort it out just gonna go ahead fire her up the neck and then the boy also has a chassis cab here so I think I might be getting it as well which will be good because that will fill the load nicely just gonna load on out and hopefully she fits up nice. Kinda of like these wee seven and a half ton specs are quite cool. You don't see many of them, but maybe you do and I just and I just don't see them. I don't know. I think that's me pretty much square in that. Here's me sh myself thinking I'd burnt a burst a diesel tank. It's just all the water running into the locker. I was like, no, diesel, but it's just it's just rusty water. Lovely! Shat myself in a minute there, but aye, we're just getting her up. I mean, need to do a wee bit more blocking here, just so she doesn't grind out as much, but other than that, she's looking quite nice. Oh, all right, I had to reverse her on, because she's a wee bit low at the front. Now we've got the parts one arriving, and a big spec lift. <laughs> oh, I need one of them. Oh, 
All oh, right, she's all loaded now. It took a wee bit longer than expected. Uh, this one doesn't start or drive and is seized. But luckily, this is a front winch. So just pulled her up to the front winch. Lovely, nice and easy. On the back there, all strapped in. On the inside now, she does stick out the back. A tiny wee bit, but not much. So that is, uh, that is her loaded. All right, so here we are, back at the yard. Obviously today is the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day. And I have a wee spare couple of hours that I can file down and see the missus and, uh, you know, get some brownie points in. So I'm obviously, I'm, I'm gonna do that just so that I'm not in the bad books for missing Valentine's Day. And uh, aye, so we'll come back here in a wee two, three hours. Still got plenty of time to get down the road. And that's what's happening. Get back, Shadrach. Right, we're here, boys. We're here, we're back. Three hours later, split rest. See the missus for Valentine's Day. Gave the way in her Valentine's. Got some brownie points. Let's get back on the road. Lock that up. We'll see that tomorrow. Let's get on the road. Let's get to sunny Manchester. All right, four and a half hours later. And here we are. We've made it. We're off loading just around the corner, literally just there. As you can see, it's double yellow lines up until literally where my mirror is. I can't show you, but where I've parked, I've parked right with the double yellow. There we go. On that side there, see at the end. And I'm parked here, but on this side. Anyways, I'm going to bed, I'm tired, and I can't be arsed with YouTube. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, it's Thursday morning. I slept like an absolute log last night. See, for the second I hot the pillow, nine hours straight out. Anyways, next morning, as I said, we're just offloading around this corner here, and where all these cars are parked. So let's go get it done. <laughs> so this is the spare truck that we picked up and she's well and truly been stripped for parts. The poor girl. Oh, there's the owner's manual though. Right, there you go. Alright, aye kids, alright. Now we're just getting winched off of this other vehicle and hopefully it should be all pretty straightforward. But we'll find out very soon. As us all offloaded. Now we're heading a wee bit on to pick up another spec lift and I, I thought it was maybe like, you know, like people had just been talking, oh, I've got a guy bringing a spec lift in. Oh, geez, his number and I'll get mine brought up. But no, the chances of me uh, taking a spec lift down and a spec lift back and the two people not even knowing each other, it's funny. He had seen it though, he'd seen it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, but aye, we're gonna pick up this spec lift and this spec lift is nice, by the way. It is nice, she's a classic. All right, so here we are at the next pickup here. We're just going to pick up that second wrecker, I believe. Uh, so we'll go ahead, go see what's happening. And then, uh, aye, get her picked up. The ranger's not starting at the yard now. I've just had a phone call for the boys, so that's my next problem. And also, when I was driving, I spilt my mini eggs. Now I've got mini eggs all over the floor. Uh, so now I need to hoover. Um, there's just bits of little shell bits just absolutely everywhere. And they look horrible. But I dropped my mini eggs. Aye, good. Oh, here she comes, the big ERF wrecker. Is all loaded big ERF heavy wrecker 65 ton train weight. Look at this thing, it's fucking look at this thickness of the bumper. That is solid, it's like half inch steel there. And I tell you something, by the way, big super singles on the front, custom made. He said, tidy, it's kind of about quarter inch steel all the way around. It is solid, and honestly, she's clean, she is bloody clean for the age of. That's chassis. That's men. That's men. Uh, 
Ah, we bit of traffic there, boys. We bit of traffic as we come. Mine mean, last week, this is where we get stuck in the Euro auctions. Well, I've just done it again and completely forgot about the route the boy commented saying take this route. And then it wasn't until I was sitting in this traffic, I was thinking to myself, I'm not taking that route. But that was quite fast talking, so if you did keep up, well then. But did I? Aye, good. Oh, hello. What you got on, big boy? Oh, some turnstiles, aye? Oh, aye. Aye. Wee fresh load of turnstiles. All right, here we are, weather with services. Obviously, I don't need a break now, I'm not gonna lie, but Katsu Chicken Curry calls. Honestly, I can't stress it enough. Chow, Katsu Chicken Curry. It's... <laughs> Ah! Uh, oh, fuck. Right in the eye. Oh, I now know how my girlfriend feels. Fucking hell, that's so. Right. Look at that. The guy's cut it up here, where it's cut it up here small, but. You just you can't grumble at that. It's normally like big chunks, but he's just kind of. You just kind of mash it. It's a bit annoying. Oh, boys, I love these old lorries. Look how tidy this is. Oh, what's in here? Oh, we have spares, a spare alternator, oil jog, fire extinguisher. This is cool. Just look at her, obviously, your parking brake there. This must be your heating controls. You've got strobe lights, tray lights, fog lights. Look at that for an old dash. Seven, 77,000 miles she's got on her. That is, bro. I mean, that, that's just. I mean, that's just a steering wheel. Bugger your three spokes, man. It's all about the two spokes. That is lovely. Wow, she's some bus, some bus indeed. The boy was saying this spent most of its time in, um, was it Saudi Arabia before it became a wrecker? Either Saudi Arabia or Dubai or something along the lines of that. Somewhere where there's a lot of oil and desert. And that's what this did, it moved oil tankers around the desert. That is cool as fuck, that is cool as Oh, she's even got the old analog tachograph, but look at that. No frisbees in it, but no frisbees. But that's how you used to work it, these wee dials. Obviously, you've got your brake, other work, period of availability, all that shit. I think you've only just got brake. I don't know what that one means, because I don't really use them. I only really use these two. And then other work. Oh, no, that one's got four. Aye, that's weird. Aye, good. Well, we're firing on, we're firing on. And as you can see, we're definitely getting close to Scotland because the weather is just getting absolutely torrential. Oh, jeezy, peeps, man. I can't see where I'm going now. I love the 66. Why is it always rainy, wet, foggy, snowy? It's never just nice, clear, sunny weather, is it? Oh, boys, ah, it's been a long old drive. Three and a half hours since I've last spoke. Well, no, that's not a, that's a lie. About two hours since I've last spoke to you. And here we are coming into sunny Glasgow. Now we're just heading up to Bathgate. So we're just to be 22 minutes away. And then we'll quickly tip this wreck up. And then we've got to get back down to the yard. Do a wee favour for Callum Auto Perfect. And then take this lorry to Volvo. Hi, good. Oh no, I told him it. Oh no, it's locked. Here we are at M Tech and it's fucking locked. No, 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 I'm in a rush, big boy. Oh, right, they just, they forgot that I was coming tonight, so they're just sending somebody. But I'm in a wee bit of a rush, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, we've got the rest of the cats to curry, because only at half on the go. We'll eat that while we're waiting. I just hope it's not much longer, because we're in a rush, and we promised um, Calum we'd pick his fork lift up at eight. It's half seven. On paper, it worked. In real life, it doesn't. There she is, all delivered. What a machine, man, what a machine. All right, so we started this morning at eight o'clock. This is our last 15 of the week left. We're here, nine o'clock in Irvine. Loading this for it, left, I know you can't see much, but uh, we'll try and fix that. 
All right, big loads only. Big loads only. <laughs> Two and a half tons of water left on a 44 ton Arctic. It's not overkill. <laughs> big loads only, boys. Big loads only. All right, we're here at All Perfect HQ, and let's get this monster load off. I'm so glad I bought, bought flip toes that fold in like that. You have no idea how handy it is. No idea at all. It just goes off nice and easy. I'm worried that it slips in the wood a wee bit. We'll find out in just a wee second. I'm gonna get a decent camera and go off me. Absolutely stacking Calm's brand new forklift. See just what I meant there. Second away on the steel, slipped. <laughs> a lot of health and safety. I don't like it when it slides. Just go down nicely. Just nice and straight. It's nice and straight. Stop sliding. I know, I know it's wet and blah blah blah, but there we go. Yeah, we knew it would slide the last part, but there we go. She's off. Hey, get up, yeah, slide it up. <laughs> These boys trust me too much. Here we are. The epic competitions HQ. Oh, perfect. Let's rob some free chemicals. Yeah, it's quite a nice light into it, it's good. Need to go over to the place more often. Content curious. Hello, it's Callum here from uh, Epic Competitions. Just want to tell you about our new competition here. You can win this Heister 2.0 electric fort lift for just 99 pence at Epic Competitions. This even comes with the charger and everything. It is a tidy bit of kit. As you can see, it's got up, down, left, right. Other ways. Obviously a control panel up here to switch it on and off. Key on the seat so you don't get lost. Epiccompetitions.com, 99 pence to win. I really hope this doesn't catch. I will cry. Okay, I'm not nervous. Right, <laughs> she's on, she is on. Obviously she scraped coming up the ramp on the front, but there was no bother coming up front ways. So bear that in mind for next time. But she is on and what a bra combination. I'm not gonna lie, I know I might be a wee bit biased in this, but you know what I mean, what a bra combination. Aye, good. Guys, my ball is like a goldfish at the moment. This is probably the most fear I've ever been of doing a load in all my life. And I swear to God, if I damage that thing, I will never, ever, 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 ever forgive myself. Alright, that's the Volvo all delivered in for its six weeks safety. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. The Mustang made it in one piece. I'll see you guys. And next video, goodbye.